Hey everyone, today I want to talk about something really important, the value of our time. You know, life is much shorter than we think. You know, the average person lives about 72 years, but how much of that time is truly ours? Only 17% of our life, which translate to roughly 12 years, 144 months, or 4,300 days to do whatever we want. And I don't know about you, but for me, that is incredibly short. Sobrang ikse. To avoid wasting our lives, kailangan maintindihan natin how limited our time really is. One day, we won't be here anymore. So the time we choose to spend today, this week, this month, and this year truly matters. So if you're watching this and understand the message I'm trying to convey, you're already ahead of most people. Most people don't think about life this way. But time is the one thing we can't get back. Bad financial decisions can be fixed, relationships can be mended or replaced, but lost time is gone forever. Let me share a bit about my journey. I started as a nurse in the Philippines, a career that I thought would give me a better future because it is an in-demand career around the world. I applied to many countries like United States and Canada. And Canada was the one who offered me a great opportunity and so I moved to Canada. The transition wasn't easy. New country, new environment, new culture, cold winters. I found myself caught in the routine, long hours, night shifts, and very little time for myself. It wasn't long before I realized that although I was making a living, I wasn't truly living. Like they say, what's the purpose of living if you don't feel alive? There are times na sasabihin mo sa sarili mo, ito na yun. I will spend majority of my life working. Na kung gusto mong mag-enjoy at magbakasyon, ay magpapaalam ka pa sa manager mo. Tapos, every after vacation, pagbabalik ka na sa trabaho, sasabihin mo, back to reality. Napaisip ako, what is your reality? Ano ang realidad ng buhay ko? Is it something that I look forward to every single day? Or something I want to avoid by all means? It's really important to find work that you enjoy with people you respect and in an environment that brings out the best in you. No job is perfect, but it's not impossible to find a job where you enjoy most of your days. Think about the years spent commuting or working in a job you hate. Those are years you'll never get back. I know a lot of people who enjoy and love their job, but for me, I took a leap of faith into entrepreneurship when I started my own family so that I can have more time with them and have more control over my life. I ventured into real estate e-commerce, digital marketing, coaching, and eventually content creation. Each step offers a different set of challenges filled with fears, but it was also rewarding. Once you realize how precious life is, you'll start to change. You'll stop spending time on pointless arguments, gossips, drama, and anger. You'll choose to focus on things that matter. That's the reason why I don't watch news anymore. I spend less time on Facebook, Instagram, unless I'm in a business page trying to manage our business pages posting contents. Alam nyo ba na ang average person spends 2 hours and 27 minutes daily on social media? I mean, if we think of it, instead of wasting that 2 hours scrolling, why not just spend it on building something meaningful? Imagine starting that business you've always dreamed of. When you create something, you get a sense of fulfillment and joy na hindi mo maikukumpara sa kahit na ano. Think about this. Every time you scroll through social media, you're consuming content that others have created. What if, instead, you use that time to produce your own content, writing a blog, or making videos? Another saying goes, do something today that your future self will thank you. Instead of just watching others live their lives online, take steps to build your own dreams. For example, you could turn a hobby into a side hustle. Parang kami, passion and hobby ng mister ko ang pag-aalaga ng ibon. Ako naman, mahilig mag 
video at mag-vlog. So, gumawa ako ng YouTube channel about birds and then created a business from it. How about you? Do you love baking? You can start selling your cookies or cakes. Or maybe you love fitness. You can create a workout plans or start a YouTube fitness channel. There's a great quote by Steve Jobs. The only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you spend your time creating something you love, you'll not only be happier but also more successful. Kaya minsan, pag feeling natin ay lost tayo, we don't know what to do or we don't know our purpose in life, just stop and think what makes you happy. Each and every one of us have our own vision and purpose in life. According to the book, The Top 5 Regrets of the Dying by Bronnie Ware, the number one regret people have is not having the courage to live a life true to themselves, not the life others expected of them. This is especially important to understand given how short our lives really are. Life is too short to live according to someone else's expectations. Can you imagine you waking up every single day and think, what would this person want me to do? Or what would they think about my dress, my post, my life, my house, my car, my business? Can you imagine how stressful that is? Sabi nga ng famous commercial ng kape, para kanino ka bumabangon? Para sa ibang tao na wala namang ambag sa buhay mo? O para sa'yo at sa mga bagay na magpapasaya sa'yo? Take some time to think about what really makes you happy? What are your passions? What are your dreams? Sometimes it helps to write this down. Create a vision board or a list of your goals and dreams. Minsan makakatulong yun para malinawan tayo. May magic kasi pag sinusulat natin ang mga gusto natin at binabasa natin. Mas nagiging clear ang lahat. Many believe that God places certain desires in our hearts for a reason. May rason kung bakit mahilig ka sa halaman. May rason kung bakit mahilig ka sa hayop. May rason kung bakit mahilig ka sumayaw o kumanta o magdrawing. These desires, the things that make us happy, are often aligned with our real purpose in life. It's like a divine nudge guiding us toward what we are meant to do. When we feel a strong pull towards a particular passion or dream, it could be God's way of showing us our true path and purpose. Sometimes, living your true purpose means making difficult decisions. It could mean leaving a job that pays well but doesn't make you happy, ending relationships that are not supportive, or moving to a new city to pursue a dream. These decisions are not easy but it's part of the process of fulfilling your destiny. Now, let's talk about regrets. Ito yung dapat iiwasan natin. Regret is a strong feeling that can make us feel heavy. This happens when we wish we should have done this and done that. May naisip kang magandang business idea. Tapos, hindi mo naman in-execute. And then, nakita mo yung iba na naging successful doon sa same business idea mo. Ngayon, nagsisisi ka. Bakit hindi mo sinimulan yung negosyo? O kaya, magustong gusto kang puntahan na lugar o bagay na gustong gustong gawin. Pero, hinintay mo pa yung retirement mo. Then, nung nag-retire ka, Nagkaroon ka na ng mga health issues due to your age at hindi mo na kayang puntahan yung dream destinations mo ngayon at gawin yung mga bagay na gusto mo. John Goddard is a great example of living without regrets. At the age of 15, he made a list of 127 things he wanted to achieve in his lifetime which he called his life list. His goals were ambitious, ranging from exploring the Nile River to climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. Over his life, he achieved many of these goals and lived a life full of adventure and accomplishments. He didn't let fear or doubt hold him back, and as a result, he lived without regrets. Think about this quote from Mark Twain. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did do. Imagine yourself at the end of your life, reflecting on your experiences. Would you rather see a life where you took steps to follow your dreams or one where you played it safe and didn't pursue what you truly wanted? I'll see you in the next one.